Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Studio Arc. And this is a handmade resin dip pen which I made by myself and it's quite pretty. I would use it for my journal, especially made for that. <laughs> for my journal diary, journal writing. This is available on Etsy store as well and this is a custom uh, design fountain, uh, sorry, dip pen which you can use you know with a custom initial in the middle well, i will show it to you later on but yeah it's a customizable uh, dip pen so you can check it out on my etsy store first of all i added some color to my resin i went with uh, gold copper and a slight uh, orange tone okay uh, for my base and i added copper flakes into it because I wanted to show that the theme of the entire dip pen would be based on um, spring or autumn. You can take it as anything like both spring and autumn and these copper flakes would be my fallen leaves, you know, fallen leaves like when it rains those dry leaves of the autumn tree would fall into a rain puddle and you would get such a view okay so of, of course I decided to make it a little bit fancy so for the fancy background I added a rhinestone chain to it and so that it can have a more of a fancy uh, appeal to it okay more of a fem uh, feminine design and while I was making it, I was also thinking of how to add initials. So when I was adding my initial, I used a golden wire and wrapped it up into a initial which is S, okay, in the middle. So that while, while you're writing it, you can actually see the initial clearly. And uh, actually this mold is for making a ball pen, but I wanted to make a, uh, a dip pen. And so I didn't add any, uh, you know, a refill inside, ink refill inside, but but just uh, decided to make the mold of the, you know, holder, like the pen holder. Uh, that's what I decided to make at first. So I went with it, and I wanted to highlight the initial, which is S, which goes for Studio Arc. So I added uh, some holofra holographic glitter into it uh, to make it more uh, interesting, more glittery, fancy. Okay, I decided that while it was still curing, okay, while it was still uh, flexible, I would give it a shape, okay, like feather, feather, feather design. I have seen various uh, dip pens in Harry Potter uh, and several old movies and I have seen people writing calligraphy with dip pens, okay? I was inspired by that because I wanted something uh, fancy for my journal writing. That's why I made this pen, okay? So yeah, I would give it a shape while it would uh, still be curing, okay? I would give it a shape after six hours and okay yeah after 12 uh, to 14 hours of drying uh, since I gave it a shape it's quite curved so you can see that it's almost uh, you know like uh, a feather uh, I will show you wait a minute yeah it's almost curved almost like a feather it's quite pretty you see the only thing which is missing is the the tip this is the G type tip from a Japanese brand I won't name the brand but yeah uh, it's quite sturdy and it is uh, used for uh, calligraphy and drawing and certain things now my entire pen yeah so this is the uh, dip pen which I made. This is the result and it's quite soothing to look at. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.